Hi everybody, uh, welcome to the last um, video of this uh, audio section. It's quite a short one because it's very easy to implement game audio. The next thing we're going to do is then add in the enemy death sounds. So let's get going. We're going to go into use script. And this is actually the rapid fire pickup. And what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to copy this. And I'm going to go into my enemy script. And I'm just going to find a suitable place, like there. And I'm going to go into my asset path. I'm going to click browse, and I'm going to browse for the flak sound, which is the kind of destruction sound. I'm going to hit select, and that is pretty much it. It's going to play the sound on the player. Um, we could set this up as a um, target itself, although because the sound is actually being destroyed, uh, arc, let's give it a go. Let's go variables owner game object and hit target and file save. Typically I would play all my signs on the player but I guess for added realism we could have the death signs play wherever the enemy was. So I'm just going to delete this and I'm going to add in an oh I'm just going to hit play. And I'll find an enemy the old traditional way. No enemies just yet. Okay, here we go. So because the enemy's already dead, the sound's not playing, or we're too far away and we can't hear it. So really the, the easier way of doing this um, is to change our target to player instead. So I'm just going to drag my player in again as a game object and link that up. I'm going to copy this going to hit file and save and then we're just going to replicate um, straight over to our boss. So I'm going to go to boss and I'm just going to find some empty space and hit paste. So on graph enable it's loading in the the flak sound and then whenever the graph is destroyed it's going to play the sound on our player to kind of indicate that you have killed an enemy. I'm going to come out of that and hit play. So now again, we're going to find ourselves an enemy here. Here we go. And now you can hear very clearly, um, well, I can hear very clearly that I've just killed an enemy. Might be the most appropriate sound, but it still works. I'm just going to double check that it works in the boss. And that also works. Ideally, you would have a different death sound for your boss as well to kind of spruce or spice things up a bit. Um, now, what you could also have is a player hurt uh, sound. I'm not going to show you how to do this because it's really straightforward. Um, what you could have is every time an enemy hits the player um, and takes away one player health, you could also play a sound in there um, to kind of indicate that the player has been hurt. Okay, so I'll leave that one up to you. Um, it's quite an easy one to do. Give it, make a little assignment for yourselves um, and give that a go. Um, apart from that, that is game audio finished. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.